everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hey, I pray everybody's doing well and everybody's healthy and safe out there. Hey, today I just wanna do a quick walk around around the Hobie PA-14 and show you what I've done this year to modify and to add on to things that I think will benefit me in this tournament season. So hey, let's check it out and uh, I hope you enjoy this video. It's okay to say you live for the Lord. Give him everything you can, man, and give a little more. See, Jesus will return, so don't forget it, my friend. Time to guard your heart and be ready. Soon as I wake up in the morning, let me thank God. Matter of fact, I'm not with it if it ain't God. How you trying to get something no, that you ain't got? Boy, you better get something your money can't buy. Knock, knock, who's that? Someone at the door again, man, they go to man. Mama preaching about the Lord again. Knock, knock, who's that? Someone at the door again, man, they go to man. Mama singing about the Lord again. Lord, if I step out on the boat, will you catch me? I trust you so much, I know that you catch me. And you protect me when my enemies attack me. Everyone coming after me. Still, you had your hand on me. Hey, knock, knock, who's that? Someone at the door again, man, they go to man. Mama preaching about the Lord again. Knock, knock, who's that? Someone at the door again, man, they go to man. Mama singing about the Lord again. All right, everybody, I apologize if the wind is a little distorted in the sound of this video. Let's start up here at the bow, and you can already tell one of the major upgrades I did to my vessel this year. I added a trolling motor. This is the Minkota Tarova. It's 55 pounds of thrust, and it has GPS, it has spot lock, it has all those bells and whistles you hear about and see about on TV. As a matter of fact, I just got off the water just a minute ago using it for the very first time and i am super stoked what i had to do is i had to modify and build some things for this to operate the way i prefer it to operate it's a standard mount that you can get that it mounts to the front of the bow from on the water innovations and they did a wonderful job making a bracket to hold these things on PA-14. I know they make other brackets for other models as well. I did have to modify it a little bit to make it fit the molding of my kayak. Obviously, they come out of the molds maybe a little bit different than perfect every time. And On The Water Innovations uh, has these brackets and they're exactly the same for each model. So I had to do a little bit of uh, tweaking, a little bit of twisting, nothing extensive to uh, get it to fit just perfectly. They come with uh, LED lights. I already have some. Uh, you can check that out in a previous video, but it's never too, uh, you can never be too safe to have too many lights. So they're pretty bright. I like them, so let's, let's go with them. It comes with a locking device. This thing pulls out and it secures it to a quick disconnect bracket underneath here that mounts to my plate that mounts to the kayak this way I can take it on and off whenever I'm not using it whenever I'm on the road and I want to store it and I want it to be safe and secure now you might be asking yourself well that's a lot of work to deploy back and forth and you know what it is but I did some research and I came up with some of the solutions of my own and I came up with a pulley system if you can tell underneath there there's a wheel that I mounted to the underneath side of that bracket and this rope is attached to the top of this foot pedal and when I pull this pulley it depresses that pedal which now disengages the locking system on the trolling motor and allows you to flip it forward I have another rope that's attached to the trolling motor itself, so when it's deployed, I release the pedal, I pull this other rope, and it pulls right up and it locks into place. Nifty, nifty little deal. Go around this other side, this is where I mounted my GPS puck. I crafted a little uh, bracket for it to sit right next to the trolling motor. If you're watching On The Water Innovations, this would be a great addition to your bracket that's already awesome to come up with a platform for these pucks to be mounted right to the trolling motor platform. Moving right along. One of the next additions I did is I just added this quick little camera mount 
to the bow here that's that's facing back towards me in first person. I just want to be able to take some stills this year. A little bit further back. I went to the black pack. I loved my DIY crate, but you know what I found last year was is I was just carrying way too much gear, y'all. I was I had I tried to being an old bass fisherman out of a bass boat. I tend to keep anything and everything that I own in storage. And I just couldn't get out of the mindset that I couldn't do that on this boat. So I needed to come up with a way that was more efficient. So I thought bigger was better last year when I built that giant crate. And I realized, you know what, I'm going to need to scale down. So this is what I went with. A simple black pack. Everybody knows about the Yak Attack black pack. As you can tell here, I've got my storage nice and tidy. Everything that I need. I took this little Plano box right here and I actually mounted it to the lid so that it's affixed. And I keep just some essentials in there gloves, sunscreen, bug spray, whatever you might need. I went ahead and I attached my anchor trolley to it. It came with a couple rod holders. Now let's get back here to the brains of this operation. This is an FPV lithium battery. It's 110 amp hours. Now, this is a bad boy right here. It's going to give me all day use at full throttle on that trolling motor. Today is the only day I've got to use it so far, and you know what, it never missed a beat. I might have put four hours on it today, and I was running and gunning, and at times, I was able to go about, about four miles an hour. My boat is pretty doggone heavy now, y'all. So I uh, do understand that if you add on some of these things, like that trolling motor is 40 pounds plus, this battery right here, surprisingly, is only 21 pounds. So FPD, FPV has done it again. They've come out with another awesome product. And uh, Mariner Sales, I'm plugging them right now, Mariner Sales. Y'all did a great job. Duke Tran, thanks for hooking me up and giving me the idea of adding this to my system because now I don't have to worry about power when it comes to my trolling motor. I don't know if I told y'all last year, I went ahead and added, added the uh, power pole, anchor pole, uh, micro pole here. I secure my box to these straps that I made. With everything that's in here now, y'all, I don't want to lose it. I don't want to tump this thing over and lose a doggone thing. So I've secured everything that I can in a way that if I do flip it, it stays attached to the vessel. Straps on both sides. Moving right along. That's right. Does that look familiar, y'all? That is the transducer mount for pan optics. I wanted to do it last year, just didn't get around to it. And this year I was able to do it. I upgraded my Garmin uh, 74 SV to this 106 SV. This thing is amazing. I added the uh, relief shading uh, mapping system to it. And let me tell you, the detail that they're coming out with these units these days are just, it's unbelievable. I did get to use this in a tournament already. And I did pre-fish with this pan optics. And I'll have to tell you, y'all, I love technology. I think it's great for the sport. Everybody's got their hot button opinions about it. But I tell you what, it's an absolute game changer. <laughs> it's so doggone tempting to use all day long. And I tell you what, it puts more fish in the boat. It just does. I've learned so much just about fish behavior already, already from using this panoptic system. One thing I can tell y'all, we fish way too fast, way too fast. And we don't sit still long enough. There are plenty of fish wherever you're at. I can promise you, there are fish wherever you are. There's more fish than I ever thought there was possible. They're everywhere. We just got to be a little bit more patient. I got to hand it to uh, my guys at the Cypress, uh, Spring Cypress sign shop there leo and his boys hooked me up again with this year's graphic package i'm really pleased with that and uh i guess that's about it there isn't a whole lot more um there is in here 
Uh, the black box, I keep the black box in there. I could show you all that in a different video because I have to deploy this trolling motor. Well, let me just go ahead and do that now. All right, I went ahead and took the trolling motor off. So inside here in my tub, I've got the black box for live scope. What I had to do is add another battery system. So all in all, I have three different battery sources now. I have the 35 amps that powers my graph, the lights, all my accessories. I have this dedicated battery that I got from Volta Lithium. These guys are awesome. They're here in Texas. Uh, they're some of my buddies that I fish with and uh, they're making some awesome products, y'all. So if you need batteries, it comes with whatever you need in size, amperage, already in a watertight box connectors and everything ready to grow ready to go at a price point that is way lower than everyone else they're building some great stuff had they already been making the 100 plus amp hour battery when i bought that one back in the back i would have bought it from volta so here you are look them up guys give them some business they're doing a great job and i can't be more happy than with this battery but this battery is devoted strictly for panoptics this is uh 30 plus amp hours i think it's 35 amp hours it runs the black box exclusively you can see under here i put a switch an on and off switch that allows me to cut off battery use to black box exclusively so i'm not putting a drain on that battery when i'm not using live scope because it continues to operate live scope if you don't turn it off so i'm able to disengage the black box and not draw down the battery when i'm not using the device also i forgot one thing that i attached to the hydro wave uh, we're going to put this thing to the test to see if this is a gimmick or this thing will actually work but uh I didn't get a chance to use it today. There wasn't really a scenario. I was more looking for operation today than I was fishing. But hey, we're headed to Lake Fork here in about a few days, and we're definitely gonna put this stuff to the test. One last look, my 2021 rig, ready to go and ready to put a herd on them, y'all. All right, so that's it. That was quick, short. I hope it was beneficial to somebody. And I appreciate y'all just tuning in. Thank you so much for your loyal subscribers. We're growing more and more all the time. And for those that are new to the channel, if you like this content, look at some of the other videos. And I really appreciate that you just stumbled upon us. And hey, be part of what Fish Factor is doing. Fish Factor is a ministry that wants to take their faith and blend it with their fishing for the glory of God and the moving forward of the gospel in a unique way. So I'm really thankful for all of you that subscribe and those who will subscribe. I can't be more happy with the way this, this ministry and this, this uh, channel is going. And I love bringing y'all content. I got some more fishing videos coming up soon, so stay tuned. Until then, if you get out on the water, be safe. Wear your life jacket. And hey, if you get out fishing, hook a good one for me. Until then, God bless y'all. Peace.